Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and I spotted a childhood memory. Now, you guys have probably had these before. They call them pecan twirls or pecan pinwheels. I'll show you what they actually look like. See, they're just like a little cinnamon roll with little bits of nuts in them. For some reason, when I was like in junior high or so, I was obsessed with these things. I would beg my mom to make them. After school, I would stop at the 7-Eleven and get some. Um, and I haven't had them in years and years. So I thought, what if I could make like a cinnamon twirl bread pudding, or it could be used as like a breakfast, um, sort of like French toast casserole. So we're going to try this out. And it's not going to take too many ingredients. We're just going to be needing some, some pecans some heavy cream, a few eggs, some cinnamon and vanilla, and a little bit of maple syrup. Now first we're going to um, kind of chop these up a little and toast them in the oven um, so they get a little bit stale. And the reason we're going to do that is so the custard will absorb better um, into them when they're baking. So stay tuned. So all I did was cut them up into quarters, placed them on a baking sheet and baked for 10 minutes at 400. Now I have some pecans that I chopped, four eggs, uh, heavy cream, I'll have the exact amounts in the description box, vanilla, some cinnamon, and then just give that a nice whisk. It's so easy, you guys. Literally takes five minutes to put together. Now I also added a tiny bit of salt, maybe like an, just a pinch, because salt helps to bring out the flavor in sweet um, dishes. Now I have a deep dish pie plate, but you could also use um, just a square one. And then I just place them in the pan and then I sprinkled over my chopped pecans. I like a lot. Um, I think maybe I used a half a cup. And then just pour over your custard mixture. Now, like I said, this is so good for as either a dessert or for breakfast. So it's very versatile. And you can double the recipe for a big crowd, which is what I like to do sometimes when I'm making this sort of thing. I mean, this is the first time I've made this one, but now press it down to make sure all the um, pieces are covered with the egg. You just want them all really saturated, the top ones. Okay, and then you're gonna drizzle a quarter cup of the maple syrup over the top. Just kind of evenly distribute it. And then you're going to bake this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes or until it's golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. And it feels very firm. Okay, you guys, let's give this a try, shall we? Now, isn't it, it's so pretty, the way it makes like a design, see that? But that's not the best part. The best part is the taste. Now, this is from yesterday, so I've already tried it, but I'm gonna try a little bite for you guys. And here's your bite. Yum. Mm. It's crazy good. Because I've probably made 12 kinds of bread pudding before. Cinnamon roll, casserole. This is hands down the best one. Something about those pecan roll things they're like so flavorful and they have little bits of pecan in there and then i put extra nuts in it oh my gosh it's the perfect density i mean it's 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 got a dense density to it but it's not too heavy and i'm telling you we had it last night with we warmed it up and then we put a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top heaven best dessert ever so you guys please give this a try and if you do, let me know how you liked it, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click on that little red box. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.